This video will demonstrate how to estimate the slope of the tangent line to a curve uh, when the data is presented to us in a table. So we just have some uh, tabular information here uh, and I've actually graphed it just so we can get an idea of uh, get a visual of what's happening here but uh, when you actually do this like on homework or for a test or quiz you won't have to draw a graph. Of course it does always help um, to get a visual for, for what we need to find here. So again, our, uh, what we're going to do here, uh, I've just chosen this point uh, with the coordinates 10, 90. Uh, that corresponds, if you look here, uh, 10, 90. So we're going to estimate the slope of this tangent line at the coordinates 10, 90. So what I'm going to do right now, just so we can see this, I'm going to kind of freehand this and draw my best tangent line to the curve. And, and we know that the tangent line just nicks the curve right at that point there. So let's see. Okay, so there's our tangent line. And our goal is to figure out what the value of that slope is. And here's how we're going to do it using the information in the table here. Well, we need two points to find slope, but uh, at, at this point, so we need another point. In fact, we're actually going to step out in either direction, one spot in either direction from the place, from the point of tangency. So I'm going to use this information here and I'm going to calculate the slope between these two points and that will represent my estimate here. And we'll show you how uh, it, we can get fairly close to, to an accurate estimate. Alright, so we know slope is the change in y over the change in x. So as a formula, that's going to be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 which in this case will be 93 minus 84 over 12 minus 8 which gives us 9 divided by 4 which is 2.25 so this is going to be our estimate for the slope of the tangent line here Okay. So let me show you how that kind of looks. Our goal was to estimate this slope value, but we didn't use this point. We stepped out on our table, one point in either direction. So if we take a look at this and step out one point in either direction, we actually found the slope between these two points. And again, let me just draw my best secant line here. And notice these two lines appear to be uh, fairly close to parallel. So in this case, the slope of this secant line is fairly well represents the slope of the tangent line. So we calculate the slope of the secant line and we say, well, our best estimate for the slope of the tangent line would also be 2.25.